We're next to the Wunaskateka River in Providence, Rhode Island, uh, and behind me was the site of a textile mill. In the 1800s, being right next to a river was a very advantageous thing for a textile manufacturer. Rhode Island is an old industrial state. We have no shortage of Superfund sites and other sorts of hazardous industrial sites. Scott and Tom and I are all part of the Superfund Research Program. We have research projects that collaborate across campus with different departments, and then we also try to get research out in ways that people can use it to either the community or to our regulatory partners. My research interests lie in understanding what is in our drinking water and what we need to be concerned about. I'm focusing on the accumulation of hazards from industrialization. We rely on these manufacturing directories that provide the location, industrial classification for every manufacturing facility in the state, 1953 to current. We have a few here at Brown in the library, and then the rest of them were kind of scattered around the state. I would go in and just take pictures of them. We ended up doing 25 directories, and there's several hundred pages in each. I remember seeing their research and thinking, gosh, that's, that's useful because they have this historical database of manufacturing facilities and even sometimes our regulators don't have access to a database that is as complete. I actually didn't put the dots together. Um, it was Scott and Tom that came to me and said, hey, we have this, do you think we could use it for PFAS? And I thought, well, of course, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> PFAS stands for per and polyfluoroalkyl substances and it is a class of thousands of different compounds, all of which are man-made. People are still studying the toxicology of these compounds and trying to understand exactly what effect they may have on humans. We started putting together this geospatial tool to try to predict where in Rhode Island the, the groundwater is most likely to have impacts to, to PFAS. We were in the process of putting together that tool when the Department of Health came to me. They were going to start a statewide screening program for PFAS in Rhode Island. They wanted to know if we could help with the project. We got to work hand-in-hand -hand with regulators in the state and, and feel that it was almost immediately being applied to some good. The environment at Brown is very conducive to interdisciplinary collaboration. It's not a siloed campus. It's a really neat collaboration between two very different disciplines between Scott and Tom in sociology and myself in engineering, and it's nice to see cross-disciplinary collaboration like this work so well. 